मॉड्यूल 16 प्लेनोग्राफी प्लेट लिथोग्राफी ऑपरेटर्स एंड मटेरियल्स प्लेट लिथोग्राफी एल्युमिनियम प्लेट अरेबिक गम फास्फोरिक एसिड टैनिक एसिड लिथो क्रेऑन और ग्लास मार्कर सोडियम बेंजोनाइट फ्रेंच चॉक पाउडर जेरोक्स पाउडर पेट्रोल टर्पेंटाइन लिथो स्पंज रेड लिक्योर there are a few ingredients which would be needed to be prepared earlier before the actual technique is employed in planography plate lithography one tapum solution to make this solution we would require 300 g gum arabic mixed in 1 liter of water 15 ml of phosphoric acid 100 g of tannic acid Half teaspoon of sodium benzonite instead of sodium benzonite, five by six drops of phenyl can be used for the for preservation of the solution. pH strip is used to check the strength of the solution. It should be at two. Now mix the above ingredients and check pH at two. Take the solution and mark a fifty-fifty proportion of solution with gum arabic. Fifty percent tapum solution. Plus 50% gum arabic. Offset printing is tried. Stone lithography. Nowadays, aluminium plates are used for offset printing. Used offset aluminium plates can be reused in planography. Platography. Alois Senfelder invented this printmaking process of lithography in 1798. From the time of the invention of this process it became one of the largest industries in the United States a part of the printing industry which is the third largest manufacturing industry in the United States Alois Senfelder started out his career as a successful playwright several of his works were published however he found it expensive to reproduce copies of his plays In an attempt to reduce the publication cost he tried to produce his own copper plate engravings in the late 1700s copper plates were mostly used in printing but it was a difficult process to create images and text to be printed in our in reverse in order to reduce cost in time senfelder decided to practice his engraving on slabs of bavarian limestone instead of expensive copper to correct mistakes made on the limestone he found that a mixture of wax soap lamp black and rain water were efficient through experimentation senfelder discovered that when he drew on the limestone with the correction fluid the drawn image would repel water while the surface of the stone where no image was drawn would hold water he found he could first wet the entire stone then apply ink with a roller to the entire stone to replenish the ink on the image the stone itself which held water would repel the ink and the correction fluid which is greasy and repels water would accept more ink since lithography is based on a chemical principle sandfelder decided the call the process chemical printing now a step by step process for preparing the aluminium plate use glass balls with sand or carborundum powder to remove old images by grinding the aluminium plate a lithography is an original image created by an artist who works closely with a master printer a press is used to transfer drawings from stones or metal plates to paper although the term lithography may refer to commercially reproduced images such as those on posters or in magazines Fine art lithography is a hand process used to create original works of art that can be printed multiple times. Lithographs differ from etching, engravings, serigraphs and woodcuts in materials and process. For example, etchings and engravings are printed from a metal plate with incised lines, while a lithograph is made from a chemically treated flat surface. In each case what distinguishes the print as original is that the artist participated directly in the creation of the image and approves all impressions after they are printed. Planographic printing means printing from a flat surface. 
as opposed to a raised surface as with relief printing or incised surface as with integral printing. Lithography and offset lithography are planographic processes that rely on the property that water will not mix with oil. The image is created by applying a greasy substance to a plate or stone. The term lithography comes from litho, from stone, and graph to draw. Certain parts of the semi-absorbent surface being printed on can be made receptive to ink while other the blank parts reject it. The same process carried out on a metal plate is called planography or plain lithography. There is very little difference between the process of lithography and process of plate lithography. As in both processes of making are quite similar, yet it is understood that plate lithography is less time consuming than lithography. However, it can not replace the versatility of the medium of lithography. This method prints from the surface chosen, be it metal plate or a litho stone. Aluminium plates have been used in lithography for many years and are very popular in the United States, where commonly they are used as an alternative to lithographic stone. Using especially ball-grained aluminium, in principle aluminium plate lithography or L-graphy is similar to stone and zinc plate lithography. Often used to complement these processes, particularly in respect of color printing, aluminium plate lithography offers potential for the development of multicolored prints using both autographic and photographic material. Currently, aluminium plates used are imported from New Mexico. Being lightweight, these plates are portable and facilitate flexibility of working in terms of scale, speed and ease of use. Being also light in color, drawing onto aluminium is more akin to drawing onto stone or paper than zinc. Commonly plates are used to print color, runs in conjunction with a final key image printed from stone. The simplicity of using a metal plate to a cumbersome stone is catching up fast as these metal plates can be reused for producing prints. After a few minutes, using a sponge, apply gum arabic to the plate and buff it with a clean rag. Take care that not a drop of water should touch the surface of the plate. Norman Rockwell Norman Percival Rockwell was born on January 3 and was a 20th century American painter and illustrator. His works enjoy a broad popular appeal in the United States for their reflection of American culture. Rockwell is most famous for the cover illustrations of everyday life he created for the Saturday Evening Post magazine over nearly five decades. Final aluminium plate should be with rough or medium grains. Add a few drops of phosphoric acid to hot water and with a cotton rag clean the surface of any grease. Instead of phosphoric acid, Alum can be used to clean the plate. Dry it immediately to avoid oxidation of the plate. Among the best known of Rockwell's works are the Willie Gillies series, Royce the Riveter, The Problem We All Live With, Saying Grace and the Four Freedom series. He also is noted for his 64-year relationship with the Boy Scouts of America, BSA, during which he produced cover of for their publication Boy's Life, calendars and other illustrations. A litho crayon or glass marker can be used to draw the chosen design. After drawing, chalk powder is applied onto the plate. If instead of chalk powder, Xerox powder is used, then the plate needs to be heated to fix the powder onto the plate. If the Xerox powder is mixed with petrol to draw then it need not be heated as the mixture of Xerox powder with petrol automatically fixes onto the plate. Having had huge success in the field of painting, Normal Rockwell is also known for his lithographs and prints in limited editions, which have become prized collector items now. Rockwell's lifetime works in lithographs and chronographs were published in limited editions 
by Abraham Circle Fine Art and Eleanor Attinger Inns. The prints bear an original pencil signature by Norman Rockwell on the right side of the lower margin and an edition number in pencil on the lower left side. A few of these prints were published in an edition of 100 signed and numbered images with 10 artist proofs. However, the vast majority were printed in an edition of 200 signed and numbered images with 60 artist proofs and 35 Roman numeral artist proofs. In addition, some images included 25 deluxe artist proofs on Japan paper, a somewhat translucent paper commonly called rice paper. The value of all of these prints can range from a few thousand dollars to several thousands. After a few minutes, using a sponge, apply gum arabic to the plate and buff it with a clean rag. Take care that not a drop of water should touch the surface of the plate. Many of the favorite Rockwell images were produced as prints on canvas, canvas transfers. These images are not hand signed by Rockwell, though they have the reproduced signature from the original painting. Rockwell's lithographs are photomechanically reproduced just as the colotypes are. The difference lies in the method by which the image is transferred to plates for printing. The colotype was considered a superior process, the sum of the better Rockwell prints were published in this way. Colotypes required a special coated paper and the lithographs were printed on more traditional arts paper. Rockwell had his first commission work to illustrate a magazine at the tender age of 18 years from the Boy's Life magazine. His relationship with Boy Scouts of America began thus, and it would last more than 60 years. Rockwell joined the Navy to fight in the World War I in 1917. Though he was rejected one time, the second time the rule for weight was waived and he was based in Charleston, SC. However, he found himself doing more morale building work than actual war front fighting. While preparing art and illustrations for the camp newspaper and painting and sketching officers and sailors, he was given a special early discharge from the Navy after painting a portrait of his commanding officer. He remained patriotic all his life and used symbols of American flag etc. in his work. Every year but two from 1925 through 1976, Norman Rockwell did a painting from the annual Boy Scout calendar published by Brown and Bigelow. Each painting presented an image of idealized scouts in worthy action and always with meticulously accurate uniforms and equipment. By 1929, the Boy Scout calendar was the most popular in America and it remained so for many years. The artist always found fresh ways to evoke the virtues of scouting. In 1939, when he had been painting scouts for more than 25 years, Rockwell was honored with the highest award given by the Boy Scouts of America. The Silver Buffalo presented before an audience of 3,000 people at the Waldorf Astoria in New York. In the 60s, Rockwell's focus broadened to include many more minority and foreign scouts. His calendar paintings for the world Jambori years of 1963 and 1967 both depicted scouts of various nations joyously united. Apply the 50-50 solution evenly onto the top onto the plate to middly edge the plate for light and medium tones. For hard or strong etching use tapum solution and for counter etching add a few drops of phosphoric acid tapum solution. Immediately buff the plate with gum upon etching. Rockwell's illustrations almost define America in the middle part of the 20th century. They certainly have defined scouting. His career spanned nearly the whole history of the Boy Scouts to date, encompassing an age during which both America and the Boy Scouts grew immensely. A period, as Rockwell wrote, when America believed in itself, I was happy to be painting it. 
The name of Rockwell itself starts wonderful images in the mind's eye. And those images in turn invite a wide spectrum of emotional reaction, from laughter and love to poignancy and hope. Moments unique to life in America, from the roaring 20s to, to the rebellious 60s, from warm family holiday celebrations to the desperation of war and the Great Depression. Norman Rockwell's paintbrush was touched them all. From the age of 17 when he began as a freelance illustrator until his death, he painted everyday life as no other artist ever has. Firmly establishing himself as the greatest of all American artists, Norman Rockwell's unique vision transcends time. A Rockwell from 1930 is as real, as immediate today as it was a half century ago. As all great artists must, Norman Rockwell understood that human nature does not change and that the great truths are universal. Norman Rockwell's son, Tom, put together an absolutely fine collection of his father's botanious body of work, illustrations that bespeak the golden glow of pre and post World War II Americana. Rockwell Sr., who said the depicted life as I would like to be, chronicled iconic visions of American life. The Thanksgiving turkey, soda foundations, ice skating on the pond, and small town boys playing baseball, not to mention the beginning of the civil rights movement. Clean the plate with turpentine to remove the image from the plate. Follow it with cleaning the plate with acetone to remove any greasy particles since it synthesizes the plate. Apply a thin layer of red liqueur evenly on the plate with a cotton rag. Then apply washout solution on the plate. Wipe the plate with water loaded sponge. Now plate is ready for printing. Now the best selling collection of Rockwell's most beloved illustrations organized by Decade is available in our refreshed edition. With more than 150 images, oil paintings, watercolors and rare black and white sketches, this is an uncommonly faithful Rockwell treasury. The original edition has sold nearly 200,000 copies. The artist died in 1978 at the age of 84. Health and safety precautions 1. Handle the acid drip bottle with care. Do not remove it from the designated area. Wear a face shield for protection and wash hands after handling bottle. 2. If acid comes in contact with an eye, there is an eye wash station in the acid etching room. Run the water for 30 seconds to flush the unit. Hold eye upon and wash eye for 15 minutes. Any eye injury should be examined by a physician. 3. Washing out of the image must occur under the ventilation hood. 4. Wear gloves when using solvents to limit contact with skin. 5. Use volatile solvents like denatured alcohol and liquid thinner sparingly. 6. First clean up ink on slabs with the razor scraper before using solvent. 7. Scrap excess ink into residual container. Usable ink can be put back in can. Mark the final registration for print on paper. Take the final registration on litho machine. Take the final print on paper. Mark the edition of the print. Write all the details of the print like date and signature. 